And now, we'd like to feature... Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Red Hot Underdogs. Here to talk sport, 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 everything about sport and nothing to do with sport as well. I'm Anzac. I'm we're, with me tonight is the ever incredible, the long contained, the often imitated, but never duplicated. It's Drewy. Drewy, how are you going? <laughs> Good to see you, big guy. How are you traveling? <sighs> One of these days, I'll relax. That's all I'm going to Have a big night last night? Oh, well, you probably can see all the mess in the bar. Yeah. Yeah. So I had about 10 people over. Um, That's good. But I'm here doing this instead of cleaning it. Um, Fine. There's time for that afterwards. 10 people playing pool, playing pool. And um, just for this podcast, I had on the soccer. Excellent. For, for for viewers and listeners who don't know, I was meant to go to the party, but I myself was, from a non-drinker's point of view, suffering a massive hangover from the night before from yeah. work, mate. So I actually had the ice pack on my head all of last night. Oh, wow. So we're, we're good now. After several hot showers, a long walk, and a bit of greasy food, I'm good to go. Yeah, nice, nice. And, um, uh, it's actually been quite. On. Did you watch the soccer? I, I didn't watch the soccer. No, I, found... I think I was too busy nursing my injuries. Oh yeah, well, yeah. I found the best way to watch soccer is actually when you're not watching it. So if okay. you if you're playing pool, you're playing pinball, you're having a drink, you're chatting to people, and it's on in the background, it's not too bad. Because Beautiful. then when there's a goal, you can be like, oh, there's a goal. And then you look at it and you watch a little bit of it. And then you're like, okay, there we go. That's exciting. Now we can move on and do anything else, which is better. Excellent. Not bad. You got your own method. We should all have our own methods. True. Spe- True. Speaking of which, it's a, quite a slow period of sport at the moment. Yeah. It's so like in between, isn't yeah. it? You know? It is. So I brought in my own topic today, my five favourite Rocky movies. Plus, I've also brought in the magical spit bucket. Now, do you know what the magical spit bucket is for? Spit. Well, almost. But in this case, there are six Rocky movies in the franchise. So five get to make the top five. The worst one comes out of the spit bucket. Okay. Yeah. Do you want to guess which one comes out of the spit bucket or do you want me to reveal it? No, 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 no. Um, so the the like I I'm gonna be honest. I mean, I've seen Rocky movies of you know, but I'm a bit confused which one's what. But can you just kind of take us through each of them? You know, um, so okay. one I'll, to six. I will break them, the six. I, I will break them down, but I'll 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 mention as far as his rivals are concerned, and then I'll give an analysis. Okay. So number one and two were Apollo Creed. Yeah. Number three was Mr. T. Yeah. Number four was Ivan Drago. Yeah. Number five was Tommy Gunn. Okay. And number six was Mason the Lion Dixon. Okay. All right. And yeah, um, and what happened in... So Apollo Creed for the first two. Um, yes. And, um, well, I mean, it's is it famous that he lost the first one? Is that right? Is that what happened? Or there was... He the, did. But, yeah. but, but which one do you think is the worst? Which one do you think is in the spit bucket? I don't know. Just tell me everything like i'm just like i can't remember enough to really comment do you know what i mean okay well i'll do the favor for you i will reveal to the audience 
which one comes out of the spit bucket. Not Firstly, in my top t- tell five. us tell us a bit about the storyline of number one. What happened in number one? I'm 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 going to. But okay. I will, but I'm I will, but that's in my top five. So I'll get there. Ah, oh, okay. Right? So we've got the spit bucket first. Spit bucket first. Okay. The one that doesn't make the top five is Rocky Five. Correct. Okay. Rocky All right. Five doesn't make the top five. We're coming in at number five, baby. Okay. All right. I understand. So you're going to tell us. So you're going from the worst to the best. The best. But all the way. But, to the top. but Rocky Five. What happens with Rocky Five? It doesn't even get talked about. That's a good question. So the one in the spit bucket. Here's the situation, and this is why I don't like the fifth one. Why yeah, you've got to talk the about bucket. the worst. If you're going from five to one, you got to talk yep. about how five didn't make it. I will tell you that exact thing right now. Thank you. Very good point. Hmm. So number five comes when Rocky gets back from the Soviet Union after conquering the great Russian Ivan Drago. Hmm. Now, when he gets back, his best mate, Paulie, makes some bad investments with his money. All of a sudden, he has to sell off Rocky's mansion and then... Rocky has to move back to the suburbs where it all began and downsize greatly. He has a huge garage sale, moves back to the main streets of Philadelphia. The garage sale. <laughs> has to retire. You see his garage <laughs> sale? Oh, uh, yo, yeah, you know, he's not all mentally there. Yo. he got to <laughs> sell a few things to get some money. Yo. This is how it works. So <laughs> he, he goes back to Brooklyn and then... All he wants to do is become a trainer. Hey, yo, Adrian, I can't do this no more. You know, I want to be a fighter, but, you know, they wouldn't let me pass the medical. Yeah. So he starts training, and then he befriends a guy called Tommy Gunn, who is a semi-homeless guy who is an upcoming boxer, and then he sees great potential in him. Then on the rise, Tommy Gunn starts getting a little bit of notoriety, but all the notoriety is going to Rocky because it's his pupil. And yeah. Tommy Gunn doesn't like that. He jumps ship and goes to a new trainer. Tommy Gunn becomes a world champion himself. Oh, and with then, the new trainer. With the new trainer. Oh. And then he's still angry that Rocky is still getting credit. The fact that, oh, he learned everything from Rocky. Mm. So Tommy Gunn rocks out the front of a pub and challenges Rocky to a street fight. Ah. And all the news crews and camera crews are there to capture the street fight. Ah. Now, no, no ring, no gloves. No ring, no gloves. Wow. Street fight. Wow. Now, which city I'll are we tell talking you about? Which city? Philadelphia. Okay. This is why I think number five is the worst in a nutshell. I mean, that sounds like a good storyline. Like that's exactly. I want to see this movie. Like number five is the worst, but what you've described sounds like a great movie. It sounds awesome on the surface. It sounds fantastic. And I think the skeleton of it had everything to make a great movie. Yep. But I'll tell you why I think it's the worst. The street fight sounds awesome. Yeah. The the pupil versus the former teacher sounds awesome. Fantastic. But the fight at the end just doesn't hit the mark. Mm. Because to me, it comes across as two drunken bogans having a fight outside a dodgy kebab shop at 3 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Sounds like Manly 20 years ago. Yeah. That's exactly right. It's, it's Rocky doing a leg kick and tripping over Drago. Drago mm. picking up a trash can and throwing it at Rocky. Yeah, wow. Both of them having a a uh, rumble across the bonnet of a parked car. It just misses the mark. Yeah. For me, it sounds great, but it missed something because no matter what, what it did show is that the finale, no matter what Rocky movie it is, always belongs in the ring at the end. Yeah, 
I mean, it's a boxing the street movie. fight. Just didn't yeah. hit the mark. Yeah. yeah. Is it the most unpopular movie? Like, I know you say it is, but like, yeah, you know, to, to a person, mm. I reckon I'm going to say at least 85 to 90 percent of hardcore Rocky fans will tell you that Rocky Five is the worst. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ah, also, the other thing that I didn't mention, important ingredient, why it's the worst, apart from the street fight at the end, there's also a dodgy promoter that lures Tommy Gunn over to the other trainer. Mm. And to me, that promoter comes across as more of a comedy skit, even though he's not meant to, than a dodgy promoter because mm. they dress him up, make him sound like and make him talk like Don King with practically the same hairstyle. Yeah, wow. So so Which he's, does, he's yeah. making a joke of Don King, is he? Yeah, and it wasn't meant to be like that. I just think they, they thought, hey, let's do the Don King style ah. promoter, and it doesn't work. Yeah. That with the street fight just completely misses the mark. But Don King, what what a... What a showman, you know, like what a great icon. Yeah, but like one like, person to do it with. Yeah, yeah. And like it just comes across as a rip-off. It doesn't come across authentic. And Don King, like, if you if you're mocking Don King, it wouldn't have helped like like boxing fans no. Don King, right? Like he he yeah. gave some of the best fights ever. And and you know, like, remember how he, he was a promoter to Holyfield and Tyson, remember that? Yeah, and he yeah, yeah. Had him in his arms, and he's like, "Now we're gonna do it again," you know, with his hair. So, yeah, we're gonna do it again. And he was. And like, he also says in the movie, "Only in America," yeah, which is a yeah. famous Don King line as well. Oh my god! So, I and Don people... didn't like sue or anything like that. He was like, "No, I, th I think they probably cleared it with him beforehand so that they could actually do it." Why did they use the real fucking Don King? Yeah. I just, and, and so I, I think before that. it even got to the, if I it, if it, it had to... Don King in it, yeah. it would be out of the spit bucket and maybe scraping fifth. Oh, no, look, I think it was always still going to make the, the, the spit bucket. Mm. I, I just, it just never got hot. Yeah. Even with Don King, yeah. sounded good, but compared to the rest, the others were a Renoir. This was a finger painting by numbers, as far as I was concerned. Wow. Okay. All right. All right. Well, spit bucket, Rocky Five, okay. done, done and dusted. I, I, I do want to see it, but after hearing that, I'm not going to see that one. I think you still should. Anyway, I'll still see number it. five. Number five. I on. have got Rocky six. Rocky six. Well, that makes sense. Yes. Start at the end. Now, to me, Rocky six is not a bad movie. Mm. And I'm not going to pan it as bad as Rocky five, because obviously it made the list. Mm. But Rocky six is actually a nice movie. Mm. I actually like it. Mm. I really enjoyed it. But... It's not as good as the four that came before it because I will tell you this, the four be that came before it were absolute gems, were absolute masterpieces. So even the, the Rocky that comes in at number four, whichever number that is, is brilliant. Mm. So it shows you how good the three that came so it's before a big, it were. a big jump between yeah. fifth and the top four. Yeah, 100%. So where, where Rocky six falls down for me it's kind of like the house guest that comes to a party when the party begins at one o'clock in the afternoon and the house guest rocks up at 10 o'clock at night. Yeah. All the steam has gone out of it. The best parts have happened and you, you get a bit of the rest, the best of the rest kind of feel. Mm. But Rocky Six did all it could do with what it had to work with. T because tell us a bit about then, Rocky Six. What 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 happens? So, does it follow the end of Rocky Five, which you've you've told us about? Yeah, 
by then, Rocky was pretty ancient because Rocky mm. Six was brought out in 2007. Mm. To give you some perspective, Rocky One was brought out in 1976, which was a yeah, year wow. before I was born. Yeah. And I'm yeah. 46 years old. So yeah. it was a very late house guest. Mm. So before then, you've had the highs and the lows of Rocky's career. Mm. You've have it, had him winning the championship. You've had mm. him losing it. You've had him winning it again. So they didn't really have much wiggle room. Mm. What they did do is say, all right, Rocky, you're going to have an exhibition because he gets the fighting itch again. Yeah. It's like, Rocky, you're an old man. You don't How need old is he in, in Rocky Six? About. He's in his late 50s. He's oh. about 58. <laughs> so I Googled how old he was in real life. Yeah, Jesus. And he was 58 when Rocky Six was made. Oh, Jesus. You know? So, mate, <laughs> don't get in the ring. Yeah. But... Here's where they do it He's well. Got the fighting itch at 58. He's like, that's right. Oh, as, God, as, I'm 58, and I like really, I just got this itch. I just got to go punch someone in the ring. That was the yes. worst Rocky impersonation as, ever. I got to get you to do the Rocky impersonations, but yeah. Well, as he says in Rocky Six, because his best friend goes, "You're rough, like." Why you want to do this? What What does your son think? I bet you think he's nuts, right? Why, why are you hopping in? Hey, yo, pa, yo. Deep down, I know there's still something in the basement, yo. There's still more in the basement. I, I got to get rid of the monster in the basement. That's huh. why I got to take this exhibition, yo. So, so it's an exhibition takes... fight with, with another has-been? Like, who's he fighting? No. Here's the twist. He mm. takes the exhibition with the current world champion, mm. Mason the Lion Dixon. Mm. And the exhibition comes about because Mason Dixon keeps knocking off everyone, keeps winning it all the time, keeps knocking people out. And he feels like he's getting no, re no respect because everyone's saying, hey, it's a weak era. And then... They say, how about we do an exhibition match with like this old man that was good, you know, with Rocky 40 years That's ago. That's right. Yeah. And then he's like, why would I want to do an exhibition with a has been? And his managers go, listen, if you do this, people will love you because it's got a nostalgic angle to it. Really? And people will really love you. Because it's for charity. And you beat up an old man for charity. That makes it that's, okay. Beat up so, an old granddad for charity. Eh? That's exactly right. Yeah, yeah. So before the fight, Mason Dixon says to Rocky, man, I'll go easy on you. I'll just circle around the ring nicely. But if you dare press me, I'm going to get you the hell out of there. Mm. And Rocky goes, oh, yo, you know, it ain't all over till it's over. And mm. Mason Dixon goes, what, is that something from the 80s? And Rocky goes, mm, more like something from the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> they, <laughs> they're, they're having a fight anyway. Mason Dixon knocks him down about three or four times in the first two rounds. Uh, and he's making an absolute goose of Rocky. Yeah. Rocky is missing like he's a 60-year-old generic drunk trying to swap yep. flies. Yep, yep. And just looking like it's Rocky's first day in the gym. Mm. All of a sudden, Mason Dixon is like, wow, this guy's actually trying to knock me out. Yeah. I better get him out of there. It took him so how long to work that? Punch. Okay, yep, huh? yep. Say that bit he again. Go for a punch. Yep. And his hand breaks. How? All of a sudden. Because he hits Rocky in the wrong spot. Ah. And, his, and his right hand is his good hand. 
Yeah. It completely shatters it. Ah. Now all of a sudden we got a fight. Ah. Out of nowhere, Rocky knocks down Mason Dixon. Yeah, wow. And everyone goes wild for it. And suddenly an exhibition turns into more of what might have happened if Rocky was in his prime. It gives a clearer indication of what could have happened prime for prime. Mm, mm. Anyway, they go toe to toe, several rounds go through, and in the end, Mason Dixon knocks down Rocky badly in the last round. All the crowd is urging Rocky to get to his feet. He gets to his feet. He finishes the fight but loses on points. Okay. Which is good because they showed realism. Yep. Yep. That sounds pretty realistic. Yeah. Yeah. And that was the last. So Rocky, his last fight in his movie, he went out losing but a winner. He got up, finished it. Uh, Yo. And he got the stuff out of the basement. Yo, he that's certainly got the stuff. Yeah. Thing, yo. He got that yeah, yo, it's always about basement. getting the stuff out of the basement. He certainly did. So, uh, but just quickly before I get onto the other Rocky, to wrap it up, what makes this nice is, okay, stinker of idea that, okay, he fights an exhibition for charity. Mm-hmm. Uh, good to show the realism that he only finishes the fight because... The world champion actually breaks his hand. Yep. Uh, what is nice throughout the course of the movie is the fact that they keep going through to flashbacks yep. of his life. Also, Adrian is dead by this one. His wife was dead. Oh, That's yep. an important part. So they do the sentimental old man yep. trying to sort of get some redemption, get all the shit out of the basement, as he said. Lots of and- basement talk. Yep, yep. Lots of basement talk. Yep. And yep. it's just got a nice retrospective feel. Yep. 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 That's, where I'll, that's where I'll leave it without waffling on too much. No problem. That. No, I like it. Okay, so let's do the fourth best. Fourth best. We have, Now, this could be controversial in some quarters, but I don't care. Oh, yep. Rocky 2. Okay. <laughs> Rocky too, awesome. God, shouldn't that be number one? Well, Would most people say that's mate, number one? And you've said mate, number four. You got to have and this. What, what this, this, this is what makes a great podcast. It does. It's not it does. There's, there's lots of honesty here. There's lots of that's honesty. That's right. No shield mentality. No. No going with the sheep. No. Hundred percent honest. And honest. and if you want to, and if anybody watching. Mm-hmm. Wants to question me on it? Beautiful. Put something yep. in the comments section. We're open to it. Open. Difference I... is good. Yes. Yes. Okay. Tell us why. Tell us why and the story or the story and why. Up to you. Good. Boring if we all think the same thing. Mm-hmm. But the reason why Rocky 2 falls down for me, Rocky loses the first fight. To Apollo. To Apollo Creed. Yep. Now, let me preface this by saying mm-hmm. this movie is an absolute genius masterpiece. Yeah, wow. So Thanks. the fact that it is coming in at such a number in four yeah. just speaks to the absolute next level off the hook greatness of its previous three Certainly that does. come in before it. Yeah. So Rocky essentially is retired. Mm-hmm. He he wants to just go off into the sunset because at the start he's got of a little movie. bad he's got he's got a bit of bad vision in one of his eyes. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, but that's definitely worse for a fighter. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, Rocky sort of has talked about coming back. Yep. And his trainer Mickey goes, "You ain't coming back, son." You ain't coming back. Kid, you went the distance with the greatest fighter out there. You went to champion with the fighter, with the best in the world. Yep. The bloody best in the world. Best in the world. Kid, if, if, if you go in there with him, he'll destroy your eyesight. 
poignantly. Yeah. Bloody poignantly. Poignantly. So all of a sudden, Rocky's like, all right, I guess I'll just have to uh, enjoy retirement. And he's enjoying retirement. Yeah, what's he doing? And he Bit marries of... Adrian. Yep. In in a chapel. Yep. And it's a very he also name. Did you say Adrian. Hey yo, Adrian. Yeah, that's his wife. Yeah, but I'm I'm sure she's a wife and all, but who calls their daughter Adrian? Well, I don't know. Yeah. Let's just call it a unisex name for now, but generally it lends itself to a male name. I've like never I just... heard a female called Adrian. Well, hey, you have now. I have now. If you, if you haven't before, I have now. now. You have. Okay, so, keep going. this is good. This is good, Drewy. Keep going. Spare no details. Yeah. So also, uh, Rocky lands a knockout blow on Adrian. As far as he doesn't get violent with her, he gets giggity giggity with her, and he gets her up the duck. So, oh, Jesus. Okay, he, yeah, he, gotcha. He, yo, he, uh, he, he lands the money punch, yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yo, more than one piece of anatomy is loaded, if you know what I mean. Yo. Yeah, 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 so yeah. He, he gets her up the duff, and then all of a sudden, he's at home. Mm -hmm. And Apollo Creed is still not happy because although we won on points mm. against Rocky Balboa who he plucked from obscurity Rocky mm. was an unknown journeyman yeah and he just did it for the angle of giving a snow white underdog a shot of a lifetime good on and him Rocky took him to the distance took him the distance oh i i believe i believe it was a split decision mm -hmm. and Anyway, Apollo Creed won. Apollo Creed got lots of hate mail mm. because back then they didn't have the internet. No. And he they got lots get, of letters. Just comments, bad comments. They got letters that said, you knocked him out. You're a pussy. Yep. Fight him again. Yep. Knock him out this time. And And there's a moment in the movie where he's reading the letters to his wife Hang he on. goes, uh, Apollo I'm Creed. Sorry, I should say Apollo Creed letters. is reading. Yes, thank you. To his wife. Good man. Okay, wow. Hate letters. Yeah. So he's Why reading... would anybody do that? Because he was seen as the big champion. Mm. And boxing is a fickle sport. Mm. And once even someone beloved loses, let alone to somebody with an unheralded journeyman record like what Rocky had. Mm-hmm. All of a sudden, people think yesterday's news. Mm -hmm. So he was getting letters like, I can't believe you carried that bum for 15 rounds. Mm. Because back in the day, it was 15 rounds, not 12, mm. as yeah, it is wow. today. Yep. Another one wrote, how can you show yourself on the streets? Why don't you go and kill yourself? Oh, and, oh. <laughs> and then he goes to his <laughs> wife, people are telling me that you know, I'm not the champ, or they thought that he won, or I didn't deserve the victory. Yeah, yeah. And then she goes, why can't you let it go? And he go, says, because That's even my kids yeah. are getting tormented in the playground. Apollo's so, kids. Yeah, Apollo's Creed. Apollo Apollo Creed's, Creed's Creed. kids. He reckons his kids yeah. are getting tormented because he fought, gave an underdog a chance. Yeah. And but and, because... and that's what, yeah. yeah, and and that's what happens in the thing. And did it, it show his kids getting his bullied that. at school? Huh? Did it show his kids getting tormented and bullied at school, or just kind of a few comments? Yeah, no, 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 just a few comments when he's reading it. Okay. So all of a sudden, he's like. I can't, I can't take it anymore. So he gets okay. letters and throws them off the balcony like that. Yeah, wow. Well, well, you should burn them. You're not going to believe it. Anyway. We got 10 minutes to go. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to race through this. Okay. So 
all of a sudden they fight and Adrian comes in uh becomes in a coma during the pregnancy and uh, oh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah sorry I've got 10 minutes so let me speed this up so no, no, don't speed also, it up but just giving you the you know that's what we got here yeah I'll I'll, I'll get to the point this is good so, stuff Drew you can't yeah. rush this you can't rush no. it okay all of, part all of, one part two please don't yeah. rush this okay uh, I will turn on the light though yeah turn on the light it, it is getting a bit dark. A bit of so atmosphere. It will. All of a sudden, I won't rush it. Yeah. All of a all of a sudden, Apollo Creed rocks up on TV. Yep. Okay. And then says, "I am after. I am coming straight after Rocky Balboa." Not only yeah, does wow. he say, "I'm coming." Not only does he say I'm coming straight after Rocky Balboa, he's calling Rocky Balboa a chicken and holds up a picture of a chicken getting choked. Jesus. And then choking and the, like, like not an actual not a, chicken. Not a picture of Apollo Creed choking his chicken, just choking. No, 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 not choking that. a chicken. No, no, no. Yeah. So yeah. so Mickey's trainer is at home. Oh, uh, so Rocky goes, didn't know about this. He is like, he's, no. he's, he's retiring, he's planting flowers, he's faffing around, he's, he's getting yep. ready to have a baby. And yep. on the on the TV comes Apollo Creed and it says, Rocky, yep. I want Rocky. And then all of a sudden, uh, Mickey goes, right, we got to get after the bomb. So then he goes over and then, he challenged, and then he goes to Balboa, we got to do this. we got to do this. And then Balboa's wife goes, you went the distance with the champion of the world. You can dine out on that forever. We don't need to take this fight. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, oh, yo, this is what I got to do. I'm a fighter, Adrian. Fighters fight. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, she's at work. Yep. And she has a medical condition mm -hmm. and she drifts into a coma while she's okay. pregnant. Jesus. So she's on the, she's on the verge of dying. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> this is dramatic. This is after the fact that Mickey and Rocky have decided that they were going to fight. They've signed the started sudden, line. They've committed, Dewey. They've committed. Yeah. So all of a sudden, Mickey still wants to fight, but Rocky's like, yo, Mm. My my wife is in a coma, man. In Come a coma. On. It's a good She's extent. dying. I, yeah. I can't go through with the She's fight. She's pregnant, coma, possibly yep. dying. He can't fight. Me meanwhile, mm -hmm. meanwhile, Apollo Creed is still training the house down. Yeah. And it's doing those push ups, Rock sit ups. You know, Rocky's trying to train, but. Mm. Is finding it very difficult with his wife in a coma. Of course. And then he's saying, "No, I can't do it." Then mm -hmm. when then he's by a bedside for a week yep. or two. Yep. Yep. And then she wakes up. Okay. And what? And she then does. all of us, all of a sudden, she wakes up from a coma. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yo, Adrian, I thought I lost you. You're you still survive. Ah, and the baby gets born, and then the the baby gets born as well. Oh yeah, I think that so she happened. woke up, I... baby born, boom, yeah, baby born, boom, boom, and boom. And then yep. there's a little boy that they call Robert. Anyway, sweet. So, so she goes, Rocky. Mm -hmm. There's one thing I want you to do. And he goes, oh, yeah. What? What's that? Anything? Anything? I don't need to fight mm -hmm. no more if you don't want, Adrian. Yeah. Anything? Sure. Come closer. Come closer. Uh oh. Yeah. What's that? And she goes, win, Rocky. Oh. I want you to win. I want and you then the trainer win. goes, Fuck. what are we waiting for? And then, dun, 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 Oh, so she's come happens. out of the hospital. She's no, that's right. 
She's, she's gone what? home to watch it. Why didn't she get a That's... ringside seat? She's got a, she got a new bomb baby. out of a coma and had a kid. She got to look after that baby. That's, That's right. right. Yep. So I'm watching on the on the not flat screen, the the curved, you know, ten yes. inch screen. Yes. Yep. So all of a sudden. Yep. They're in there. They're fighting trials yep. and tribulations. Uh, Rocky gets knocked down a couple of times. Mm -hmm. Apollo Creed's winning the fight. Mm -hmm. And then right near the end of the fight, Rocky starts breaking him down with body shots. Oh, starts, in the last oh, few rounds. Yeah. Starts roaring back into it with some hellacious body shots. Yeah, nice. And, nice. Then, and then a couple upstairs. And then Apollo knocks him down again. And then Apollo's shaking his head like, what the hell is going on? Can the referee stop this fight? Or will this guy just stop getting up? Well, because Rocky's been through all of the trouble with Adrian, mm. with trying to have the kid, with yep. all the trials and tribulations, mm. there is no substitute to the journey that got you there. Yes. And then all of a sudden, they're in the mix again, fighting, both completely exhausted, out of their feet, out of their feet. Rocky lands his great big hook, and Apollo goes down. Wow. But so does Rocky, because wow. Rocky is exhausted. Then there's a big 10 count. Both of them struggling to get up. Both of them falling down while climbing up the ropes. <laughs> then eventually, on the count of nine, Rocky gets up and wins the fight while Apollo's still on the canvas and the crowd goes wild. <laughs> and the reason why Rocky 2 is at number four is because... Brilliant. I loved everything about it. Loved all the narrative. Loved the struggle. Mm, mm. But to me, you didn't need to be a genius. You didn't need to be Einstein to work out what was going to happen in number two. Yeah. He's always going to have to. The first one is lost. Three. The second one, he's got to win it. He's always got to win. So, so for why, that reason. Why, why didn't, um, why didn't Rocky gonna... fight Apollo Creed again? Apollo retired after that. No, oh. but but in a in real life there would have been a a contract that said you you know. Oh, I agree, but as far as the movies are concerned, you couldn't have had a third fight because the series wouldn't have been as good. Okay, so in real life there would have been another fight. Oh, in real life I agree with you. Yeah. But this but, is not real life. This is no. movies, and the movies, there wouldn't yeah. have been people going to watch it, is what you're saying. Creatively, it's not going to work out as well. Yep. Okay. So, number three. Number three. Drewy, you know what? We're oh. going to have to stop there. We're, We're going to have to do a part, a part two. two. Yeah. We will do part two starting at number three. Number Thank three. you, because I don't want to cut anything off. Yeah, 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 yeah. you can't ruin this. Drewy. We will do a top five and a part two. Yeah, part two. All right, mate. Have a good one. Uh, yo, adios. And keep punching, yo. See you, cuz. See ya.